Hello, this is Mr. Kenyon Nola, and I'm going to help you figure out the measure of this angle right here. So you may be looking at this problem and you may be telling yourself, oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm super overwhelmed because it just looks like way too many lines and way too many numbers and way too many everything that my brain can handle. It's all right. Uh, so uh, I'm going to help you guys uh, I want to help you guys uh, visualize and, and look at things uh, so we're not so overwhelmed and focus on the things that we should look at and uh, and and look back at things that we should look at later. So if you guys notice, I have two highlighters. Uh, so this first highlighter, we're trying to figure out what this angle is. And this angle intersects, th these two lines intersect outside of the circle. So if you guys remember what to do with that... Um, I'm going to highlight this angle or this line and this line. And in order to get this angle right here, you would take the furthest arc, the far arc, and subtract it from the near arc. Um, but we can't really do that yet because we only have the measure of the far arc. We don't have the measure of the near arc nor this angle. Uh, so, however, um, we need to uh, figure out what this arc is. So we have some other lines that will help us do that. So I'm going to highlight this line, this chord and this chord right here. If you guys forgot, chords are just lines that uh, start and end on the circle, start and end on the circle, like a chord for your appliances. It starts on the wall and ends on to the appliance. So a cord, like a vacuum cord. Um, so, and uh, for lines, for chords that intersect on the inside of the circle, uh, we take the two arcs that are being eaten by those two lines, which is this arc right here and this arc right here. So it looks like we have everything uh, we need for the lines that intersect inside. So let's just focus on this yellow greenish highlight. Um, and let's do some math. So get our calculator ready. And so we're going to, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, put, give this, assign this a variable, we'll just call it X. Okay, so let's figure out what X is. Uh, so these two lines intersect on the inside. So if you guys remember, when lines intersect on the inside, you add and you divide by two, you find the average. So we're gonna take this 100 and 42 and add it to X and divide by two and set it equal to the angle that's eating, intercepting these two arcs, which is 93. And then we're gonna put that invisible number under the 93, which is one. And make sure that we know that this is a one again. And we're going to cross multiply. So one times all of this is all of this. 142 plus X is equal to two times 93, which is 186. And then what we're going to do is uh, subtract this 142 from both sides. So 186, let's use our calculator just in case, 186 minus 142 is 44. So X is equal to 44. So this arc is 44 degrees. Now we have everything that we need to figure out what the measure of this angle is that intersects where its vertex is on the outside because now we have the far arc, the near arc, and we have, we're trying to figure out what that angle is. So uh, when they intersect on the outside, instead of adding like we did when they intersect on the inside, we're going to subtract. So we're gonna take this 142, the far arc, and subtract it from 44 and divide by two and set it equal to angle one. Uh, let's just put an angle one there so we know that it's not the number one, but angle one. Let's take our calculator and write 142 
and subtract it from 44 and divide by 2. And our answer is 49. So angle 1 is 49 degrees. All right, so hopefully that helped uh, helped you out. So again, don't get too overwhelmed or don't get overwhelmed at all when you see uh, a lot of lines and a lot of numbers and a lot of everything. Uh, just try to focus on what you need to focus on and use a highlighter or two highlighters so you can break it down into smaller steps to help you get that final and correct answer, which is 49. Hope this helps. Uh, have a great day.